all right guys welcome to my channel um today i'm going to show you how you can create you know layers and blocks for your map project now i know that this is a very easy steps but i still believe that there are some people out there who still might need some kind of help as to how they can create their own custom blocks for whatever project is it that they are working on so if you are one of those people just stay back and then follow whatever we're going to do over here and you're just going to be fine so blocks and layers are very important part of design work and drafting you know when you have all your layers and your blocks well prepared it gives you a lot of flexibility on whatever project is it that you are working on so first of all before you draw anything in autocad you need to make sure that your layers are well organized and then of course you have specific blocks for exactly what you want to achieve it gives you more flexibility like i said and then it also gives you a lot of control over whatever that you are working on so first of all we're going to start with the layers i'm going to create about three or four blocks once you can do it you can follow the tutorials or the projects that we are working on you can create your own blocks and your own layers once you get this right so first of all we're going to go to the home tab and then in the home tab we're going to walk straight to the layers panel okay and then you click on the layer properties okay when you click on this you realize that over here there is only one layer that is over here we're working with so you can just come straight to this place and you see new layer so just click on it and then it will open a new layer dialog over here so we're just going to do is to just type in i'm going to type e dash this is going to be the format of our layer name so e stands for electrical you know so i'm going to write e dash let's just say lighting fixture lighting fixture And I'm going to change the color to green. Okay. Or let's just say red. Yeah. And I'm going to expand this a bit. And uh, apart from this, I'm going to leave everything as it is. It, the line type is going to be continuous. And then the weight, I'm going to set it at the default. Okay. So this is one of them. And then another thing we are going to create is um we'll create another layer you know so we go back to the new layer button again and then you click it then you type e dash this time around let's say um lighting wire okay you can just leave it like that and i'm going to leave the color also as red and make it a continuous you know line exactly and leave it also as it is okay so that is it basically for creating layers so you need to create as many layers as you can and you will need for whatever purpose that you, you 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 need that layer for okay so thank you very much and let's go to the next one okay welcome once again to mep basics today we're going to learn how to create a block and blocks are very important like i explained in the previous video it is a very important part of the drafting process you understand because once you're able to create a block you can call it out anytime that you need and you have quite a number of control over all your blocks okay so once we have our layers set now we're going to create a lighting fixture we're going to create a switch for it as well and then once you get these tutorials right you can follow through with all the project tutorials that we are going to do so let's just go straight to our layer and then select lighting fixture so everything we are going to draw now will be on this layer so once you switch this off you can you know it means you have switched everything that is drawn on this layer 
off so it gives you that kind of control that is why layers are very important in drafting okay so let's just pick the circle tool and i'm going to draw this circle okay i'm going to draw another circle between that and let's just say i want to use the hatch tool to hatch this so i'm going to select it and type hatch okay then i'll hatch it but i'll do a solid color and i'll change it i'll do a solid hatch i'll change the color to yellow then click the space that i want to hatch okay and that's it so uh, let's just say this is a spotlight that we are going to use now this is where the problem is if you want to create a block once you draw anything you can highlight all of them this is one way of doing it you can highlight everything that you have drawn and then you come to when you go to under the home tab come to the block panel and then select create new block okay so you see your item will be selected over here and then in the name section you're going to type let's say whatever you know the specification of the light that you are trying to create and put over there so i'm just going to say let's say this is a three watt led spotlight okay and that is that we keep the insertion point everything at zero you can choose to um copy the same name and put it in the description and maybe add something that this is um recessed okay it gives you more you know um understanding of what the unit is so that is that so i'm just going to click okay all right so now we have a block i can delete this if i delete this and i want to just put it back in my drawing wherever that i need i just come to or type the 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 the, the, the command insert okay and insert is going to bring all the blocks that i have created over here just like what you see over here so i just pick this okay then i bring it over here now you realize that i have my light back over here so i can use this wherever whenever that i want so let's just go ahead and then create a light switch as well so i'm going to dock this right okay and then in the same situation i'm just going to pick the circle tool okay and then i come to this place i draw a circle just like this and then i'll pick a line tool and then draw let's just say a straight line like this okay just like that and i'm going to either drag this here or you can trim it whatever way you want it okay but you know per standards your switches has to be 45 degrees you know um position it has to be 45 degrees so i'm just going to take this click on the rotate tool find the center and say rotate this 45 degrees and that's okay okay so i can just choose to draw um depends on what you want okay so i can just choose to draw something like this just do what works for you okay so i can just choose to draw something like this and maybe not here but just move it somewhere over here okay make sure it is snapping to wherever you're putting that so i'm just going to put this over here and i'm going to highlight it so this is the process after you draw you just highlight everything and then you come to the create new block over here you see that once you click it your item will be selected over here and then i type let's say one bang one gang one way sorry one gang one way switch you can have a better detailed description for whatever block that you are um, drawing but 
once you can identify it and then once you can anybody can relate to it i think that is very okay all right so that's that so well we have some character confusion over here so i'm not supposed to put any character over here so that's fine one gang one way switch we should be fine all right all right so okay and that is that so again i can just delete this and just type insert okay and i should see my switch over here once i drag it i can paste it wherever that i want to paste it so that's the importance of creating blocks okay you don't just create um the symbol and then you leave it just like that so that's that so let's just say we have for example we want to use the blocks that we have created i'm just going to pick the rectangular tool draw this and let's just say this is a room okay and i need to forgive the it's just an illustration so let's just say this is a space i want to put a light and then a switch so i'm just going to you know um type insert you know and then i'll pick my light over here let's just say somewhere i can place it somewhere wherever i want and then move it to the center okay so make sure it snaps in the middle and i want to put the light over here let's just say there's a door somewhere here and i want to put i want to type insert again and i need to control the light right so i'm just going to put a switch somewhere over here to highlight it move it let's just say the door is somewhere here i'm just going to put the door right the switch right here so basically that's the advantage you have when you create layers and you create blocks let's just say i want to wire this light to this switch so i'm just going to come to my layer property settings over here and i'm going to pick lighting wire okay again i'm going to use the arc tool and then i'm going to wire this to this okay very beautiful so it depends on what works for you just find it and then i think you should be just fine okay so thank you very much for watching this and you can subscribe to my channel if you are interested in what i do so just follow it you can play the video over and over again and then you get what we are trying to put across so see you another time and enjoy your day thank you bye